you going to be in it? That's cool. Oh, I brush my hair. You just hold down the fort here, please. Oh, thank you. Do your thing, baby. Something about you got my eye. Something moved me deep inside. What are you doing? You're being beautiful. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bee's gonna be here today, it looks like. So um, I asked you guys a lot of questions on my Instagram about my couple ups and um, like relationships. Yeah, let's get started. Are you ready for this? So, here we go. Okay, let's do it. Do the producers influence you on who to couple up with or is it completely up to you? It is completely 100% up to us. Um, you know, any anything, everything in there is our decision. I was never forced to do anything or, or pursue anyone that I wasn't interested in or even like have an argument with anyone um, just to stir the pot. So no, they didn't influence us. Okay. Let's get down to the more personal questions about the individual people. And what happened with John James? Um, so when he first came in the villa, I was like, oh my God, this guy is like 100% my type. Like he's good looking, brunette, loves his dogs, um, everything like that. But I got a little bit concerned after everything he was saying was like adding up too much. It was like he looked into me quite a bit. like. I don't know, I was sort of like, is his will made out to dog dog charity? But um yeah, and then the spark just kind of fizzled out, like it just wasn't working. Um did you and Justin ever argue? <laughs> oh my god. Justin and I, we did have like one not even an argument, like I find it so funny now. So I went to the hideaway with Elias. Justin didn't like that I had said yes. So in the morning I woke up and my pillow that says like Millie was not on mine and Justin's bed anymore. And I like walked up to him and I was like, hey, do you know where that pillow is? He's like, I don't know. And I was like, what do you mean you don't know? And then some people told me and were like, yeah, Justin hid your pillow from you. Which now is just funny because like Justin, after that, like I came back after, I was like, wow, I'm really upset. Like, I love being coupled up with you, you're one of my best friends, and, and this has happened. And the next minute my pillow was back on the bed, and yeah, but that was fine. I didn't, like, I there was no, like, love lost in that argument. Was Elias really that bad? Um, Elias wasn't bad. Like, he wasn't a bad person. I wasn't like, oh my god, he's horrible. I just found the thing that he said about he wants to go and get that girl on Instagram, like a message her on Instagram when he gets out. I was kind of like, what kind of idiot would I be if I was like, yeah, great, I'm going to stay with you now. And it just made me feel like his intentions weren't in the right place. So yeah, I am not going to be coupled up with someone who is already looking at another woman on the outside. What really happened in the hideaway with Elias? Um, so... When we got in there, it was so late at night. I can't even explain like how tired I was. We didn't get the key till so late and we only got to drink like two drinks a night um, at, in Love Island, but there was a whole bottle of champagne. And I was like, yeah, like let's scull it. But then they had to stop us from sculling it. So yeah, so we had some champagne and then we went to bed and we were just like hooking up and stuff and, and we didn't do anything else. Like there was actually nothing else. Maybe like, I don't know, maybe like a little bum grab or something. Like he obviously like on there was saying that he's a bit more like sexual. That's probably more of his like love language. Um, he never pushed anything towards me like that. He he was very respectful. Why didn't you and Dom work out? Um, I don't really want to go too much into him because like Taylor dated him after the show and I don't want to be disrespectful to her. So yeah, just basically wasn't showing me much interest and then I lost interest, you know, and then... I had a conversation with Teddy and I was like, well, there's someone that I can talk to on a deeper level. At least I'll feel like I'm getting some deeper chats um, than what I'm getting here. So that's why I was sort of like, started talking a bit more to Teddy. Oh my God, this one. How did you meet Charlie? Because I totally didn't even consider him 
someone that I was going to talk about in this. But when I saw that question, I was like, yeah, no one really knows how we met on the outside. So I met Charlie. We were, I was out at a club in Manly and he was walking up the stairs and I was walking down. Like, and I just, I think I just like grabbed his arm and I was like, oh my God, you're so hot. And then he was like, oh, thanks. Can I have your number? And then that was it really. That's how we met. But then it just fizzled out. So when he came on the show, I was sort of like, oh, like there's no point in beating a dead horse on that one. Like it's already, decisions already been made. Okay. Next question. Why were you so picky? People make pickiness a bad thing. I think pickiness is one of the best things you can have when you're looking for a life partner. Like, it's not choosing a meal at a restaurant and it's, if you get it and it's not what you wanted, you're still like, eh, I'll have it anyway. I feel like when you're looking for a life partner, you need to, you need to be picky. And when I have a partner, like when I'm walking down the aisle, I want to look at someone at the end of that aisle that's been picky with me. That looks at me as in like, yes, she's everything that I want. Not, uh, I've settled for her. And yeah, that's what, that's what I think. And I'm, I may have been picky. I'm picky, but I'm never going to stop being picky. Uh, have you stayed friends with some of the guys that you were coupled up with? Yes, I have. So obviously Justin, um, we're best friends. I'm supposed to be in Melbourne right now, but Melbourne's going through this whole Corona thing again. And, um, Teddy, I'm still friends with. Um, you know, we don't talk a lot, but I don't have any bad blood with him and I'll message him occasionally. And, um, Corey's a lovely guy. He's, he's never done anything wrong and I, there's never any bad blood with him. Are you okay? Oh, you got a hair on your face. You okay? What was wrong with Teddy? He seems so nice. Oh, guys, there was nothing wrong with Teddy. Like, Teddy is a beautiful person. Me and him, we got along so well as friends and we would just pun all day. I don't think he had a romantic connection with me either. Like it was just friendship and yeah. And it was just nice to be coupled up with someone that's a, that's a, someone I can joke around with and, and be friends with. Ooh, this is a good one. I put my phone down before I could read it. <laughs> Do you regret any couple ups? No. I think like there can be some things that people like you would regret that but um, in all honesty like at the end I ended up with a partner and all those couple ups made that happen and although that didn't work um, I still left with you know something that I was searching for and a lesson and I feel like I learned everything from every single guy that I had a relationship. I actually probably learned everything from every single person in that house. So, especially the guys I was coupled up with. Yeah, I do not regret any of my couple ups. Um, even the ones that you'd probably think I regret. Are you still with Corey? No. What? Me? Like, what? Did you even, did this person even watch the show? No, Corey and I were coupled up for like a couple of days, but there's nothing wrong with that guy. He's a lovely person. I think he's the only person that could support me through screaming out spider and just simply go back to sleep. Um, lots of people would be like, whoa, this woman is possessed. So I saw he was recently on like another show and he has a partner now. So that's good. At least everything like worked out for him. Why did you and Justin kiss after your date? <laughs> we kissed. Okay, look. Someone called it immature. We could have even been a little bit, but it was basically payback. Like Justin and Elias didn't get along very well. Um, obviously that whole thing had just happened with Elias and we we're in the car on the way back and Justin's like, you deserve so much better than that. And I was like, yeah, I know. And blah, blah, blah. And then we were like, should we just kiss like when we get in and, and um, you know, kind of show him that, that it's over. Like, so that's why we kissed. And I think, we're just such good friends that it didn't really matter, but it was kind of like, yeah, we can do this. Oh, well, this person is getting deep. Did you struggle coupling up in the villa because of previous relationships? Um, look, I think everyone has a past that's sort of hard to forget. Um, I think things weigh on you. I try my best not to bring my baggage into new 
relationships, but I think previous relationships have made me a lot wiser and a lot um, less tolerant of certain things. So I think that's why in Love Island I was so, nah, cut them off, that's it, they're done, um, kind of thing. So yeah, I think that I think that's something that I did bring in from pre previous relationships um, that I learned. Get away, G. So who is your favorite person to be coupled up with? This is an easy one, definitely Justin. I adore that kid. Um, we were able to have so much fun together. Obviously, like, Mark also, um, while we were there, because it was the first, like, really kind of romantic connection that I'd had, and I was shocked and everything like that. But, like, at the time when I was coupled up with Mark, um, you know, it, there was a lot of hostility in the villa about me and who I was coupled up with and my intention, but definitely Justin. I'm just able to be like a massive goose with him and yeah, we, we, there wasn't, there was not a day that he did not make me laugh. <laughs> just sounded like a Disney movie. Why did you and Mark break up? We were in love. Um, we rented a house together and everything, but we were together for about nine months after Love Island and um, yeah, I think we just did too much too quick. It was a lot and I think I've only been in love with one other person uh, romantically in my life and I think I was like, oh my god, love, it's love again, like, you know, this is crazy, I can't believe it's happening again and look, I'm someone that I really don't give a shit what people think of me. like. When I'm out, I'm loud, I'm crazy. Like, I am literally that person that you either love or hate. Whereas Mark um, sometimes got a bit embarrassed and he'd actually say that to me. He'd be like, you're really embarrassing me. And to me, that hurts. Like, if I'm embarrassing someone, it's like a big deal. Like, I feel like, oh my God, embarrassment. Like, I don't even remember that emotion, really. I felt like I started changing myself into someone that I didn't really know anymore. Um... That was something that uh, really affected me quite a bit. Um, it started making me feel anxious. And, like, he didn't ask me to do that, but I felt like I was doing that. I felt like I was changing myself um, to suit my partner. And I don't think that that should be the case. I thought I have to leave because um, I love me more when I'm myself. You know, I don't have any bad feelings about him. I just think that we both have learned something from that relationship and yeah, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing that I can say that's bad about that person. I don't think he's a bad person. I think, I think we were just too different in the way that we were in a relationship. This kind of has like actually annoyed me, this question. Why didn't you ever give the single girls a chance with the guys? We're all single girls in there. That's the thing. None of the girls in there would be like, oh my God, she stole my guy. Um... Every girl had the same amount, the amount of hours in the day to get to know these guys and to form a connection. People need to stop associating um, the fact that I'm a bit more full on and a bit more forward with what I want um, as like a as like a bad thing. So, did you ever really flirt with Eden? Okay, some of these are going a little bit off track, but I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed also. No. Everyone, everyone in that villa knew that my best friend from like the outside had had a little thing with Eden previously. So why would I go near him? And I made it very clear that my friend only had like a very casual relationship with him. So no, I never flirted with him. So I kind of had to cut it short a little bit because someone is snoring. Where is she? She's woken up now, but <laughs> she's come to bed. <laughs> She's come to bed and she's snoring, so I'm just gonna let her snore away. I think I've I think I've chatted enough tonight. Anyway, oh oh, my veins out to play. That's great. Okay, say good night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, um, and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. <laughs> say good night. This is definitely not my angle. I'll tell you that much for free. Anyway, see you later. Bye.